How's it going, YouTube? Jeans here, back doing some ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Shield. You guys know the deal. If you are enjoying the content, make sure you show it by smashing that like button, clicking that subscribe button, and letting me know in the comment section down below. Seriously, the support has been crazy on these videos. We just hit 600 subs on the channel, and I cannot thank you guys enough. Thank you to everybody who has subscribed to the channel, everyone who's liked the videos, or anybody who's just checked out the channel. Seriously, goes a long way. So, guys, in today's video, we're rocking out with a team sent in by one of you guys. My boy Brandon Lopez sent it in in the comment section down below. We're using this Gluttony Snorlax team. But before we even go over the team, if you guys want me to play one of your teams, make sure you send it in the comment section down below. Make it easy for me. Tell me if it's a singles or a doubles team and make a list of the Pokemon. And seriously, maybe I'll play one of your guys' team. But with this team, we're rocking out with this Gluttony Snorlax team, which is awesome. Rocking Belly Jump, which is nice. So we can actually boost his attack fully. And he's also rocking the Eye Papa Berry with Gluttony as its ability. So when we use Belly Jump, go down half health, we can eat a berry and then go back to full health with Gluttony to get that extra boost in HP from berries. We're also rocking it in DD with it to actually set up. We can go to follow me so he won't get touched. Be able to set off that belly jump and all that good stuff. And then we also have this Rabombi down there, which will actually work well with the Snorlax and that NDD. So say after NDD goes out from a couple follow me's, we can go into the Rabombi, use a speed swap so we can boost our speed of our Snorlax. So then he'll be belly jump, which will be max attack and speed will be through the roof for Rabombi speed, which is awesome, which is awesome. But let's go over to moves. Snorlax is rocking high horsepower, facade, belly drum, and recycle here to get his berries back and all that good stuff. Then we got my boy Togekiss rocking in the back end. We haven't even talked about Togekiss yet. We skipped around. We skipped around showed off the Snorlax little combo action. But Togekiss is rocking the Aguaf berry. What a lovely berry. The Aguaf berry. That sounds like Togekiss is from the rich part of the Gala region. He only eats Aguav Berries. <laughs> but he's rocking Air Slash, Fort of Flinch, Flamethrower, Dazzling Gleam, and Follow Me. Then we got Rabambi down here with Energy Ball, Dazzling Gleam, Speed Swap, and Palm Puff. I forgot to talk about Palm Puff. So, like, after we get that Speed Swap up, we can now also go into some Palm Puffs to heal up Snorlax and keep him just alive with that Belly Drum to start sweeping out this match, getting a W. Then we got the Indeedee with the Follow Me, Helping Hand, Reflect, and that Psychic, which is nice. I would love to get off the Reflect, too, after we uh, set up the Belly Drum and all that with Snorlax. That'd be beautiful. That'd be beautiful. Then we got my boy Arcanine, Life Orb over here. He is Life Orb with Extreme Speed, Flare Blitz, will o to get the burns off, and Helping Hand to help set up damage Pokemon. Then we got my boy Doraladon right here. I love Doraladon. Just such a cool Pokemon. I love how they added him. He's just like a big tower. He's just a unit. Like, I don't even know how to explain what he is. He's just so cool. Rocket Flash Cannon, Thunderbolt, Draco Meteor, and Body Press. Also with that Assault Vest to actually soak up some special attacks, which is beautiful. Which is beautiful. But guys, if you'd like to use this team for yourself, Rental Code is at the bottom of the screen. Like I said, leave me your guys' uh, Rental Codes. Also, let me know for question of the day, what do you guys think of the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon series? Because I absolutely love them. Especially with that new one just released. I cannot wait. I really didn't like the, like, the newer ones that came out. But like the older ones, like the first three, I, I fell in love with. I played them all day, completed it, and all that good stuff. But guys, without further ado, let's get belly drumming and whooping in these rank battles. So it looks like this guy's probably running a Trick Room team with Excalibur, the Indeedee, the Conquador, the Hatterene, Duraldon, and a Gujra. Cool looking team, cool looking team, but we're getting ready. We're going to swap out with this team. I think I'm just going to roll out with what I wanted to personally do by myself. I want to go Indeedee, Snorlax to start us off, then have that Rabambi, and then one of the three attackers in the back. So I'm thinking maybe Duraldon. Considering this guy's very special attack, and I think Duraldon will be great with that Assault Fest. So I think that is exactly what we are going to do. That is exactly what we're going to do. Going to do. Lead that Indeedee going with that Snorlax. Have that Rabambi in the back. And that's around on. If he does go for a trick room, we just won't sweet, uh, speed swap our Snorlax. We'll just keep palm puffing, keeping it alive, and all that good stuff. But I'm liking how this is looking. Let's go into this battle. We're both standing by. We are ready to go. But guys, if you like to catch more content from me, do, me, do yourself a favor. Actually, go down in the description below. Hit that link to my Twitch, Gene25 on Twitch. If I'm live, come hang out, chat it up. I would love to see you guys, talk to you guys, and all that good stuff. If not, hit that follow button, swing by later. Turn on those notifications too, so you know when I go live. Let's go. Who is this guy going to lead? I'm guessing the Indeedee Hatterene. Let's see. Indeedee Hatterene. Correct. It's just Trick Room Team. It is a Trick Room Team here. We are ready. We are ready to go. We're ready to rock out here. We're going to Belly Drum. And do we go for a Follow Me? I can see him going for a Follow Me. So is there really a point? Because I can see him going Follow Me Trick Room. So we can just Belly Drum and set up a Reflect instead. That could be the uh, play call here. But. But. We really want that Reflect. Yeah, we kind of do want that Reflect. Let me look at his team one more time. They are very special attacking, but the Reflect can still come up big in later rounds. Um, Because he could be rolling out with that Conkador. Mm, do we really want that Reflect up? Reflect doesn't, because it's not going to do anything to them right now. We could just uh, go for a Follow Me for safe keepings. Or we can go into a Psychic. It's not very practical. We're just going to go into the Reflect. We're just going to go into the Reflect. And then we're going to roll out into this Belly Drum here. Into this Belly Drum. 
Let's go. Let's get it, guys. Dude, I'm hyped to use this team. I never used a uh, belly drum team. Never once in my life. Never. I was planning on doing doing it with an SQ, but since G Max Snorlax is here, we can belly drum him. Get berries back with a G Max. I forgot to say, this is G Max. It is a Gigantamax Snorlax. So, with his move, I think it's a uh, berry replenish or something. He's gonna go for a helping hand. Oh, he's coming after me right and early. Yo, right after me. He's not going for that trick room. We're gonna set up this reflect here. Not gonna do much. But this belly jump's gonna be fine. I don't mind going into trick room after this. Belly jump pops out. He's coming straight for me. He should have went for a Dynamax if he's coming for me. But look at this. Booster attack plus six right now. And now the berry comes out. The I pop a berry bite. It's the I pop a berry with the glue to need to actually put us pretty much to full health, which is beautiful. He's gonna go for the dazzling gleam. That's fine by me. We will eat this up. We will eat that up, no problem. Now we can go for the follow me. Oh, this thing's life orb. This thing is life orb. And now we're gonna go for the follow me here. And we're gonna take out this uh, Hatterene. We're going to take out this Hatterene here by going into a G-Max Replenish. Hopefully grab a berry here. We're going to hope to just snatch up a little berry, get some health back here. But since the follow me is popping out here, do we outspeed? Yeah, we should outspeed here. But si since uh, Ndidi is probably going to go down here, then I'm going to go into the Rabobi. Possibly a uh, speed swap. I don't know. I might just Palm Puff because I can see him rolling into that Trick Room. So I kind of threw him off here. I kind of threw him off. He's like, I don't know if I want to roll this trick room now. Because that Snorlax is pretty slow. Same thing with that Ndidi. Because <laughs> this trick room wouldn't do too, too much here. Let's see what happens. We're going to Dynamax. I don't think he's Dynamaxing unless we just outspeed. But I actually hope he does Dynamax at Hatterene. Because I can still see us taking him out. And then getting that Mary back, baby. Dude, Rabobi is such a good Pokemon. It's just awesome to actually have him in this set. Because he works so well with this Snorlax and that Ndidi. But let's go. Here comes the Dynamax. We're going to get an extra 112 health. And we're going to turn into Tor or Torterra Snorlax here. Follow me. He's going to pop out from my NDD. Beautiful. You guys have to come after me now. Are you going to go for another helping hand? Oh, your NDD is going to go for a follow me. That's fine by me. That's fine by me. Okay, let's go. Bye-bye, NDD. You are done. G-Max replenish, baby. Give me that berry. Come on. I think you have a 50% chance of getting a berry. I think that's how it works. Did you find it? Did you find a berry? Tell me you found it, buddy. Come on, Snorlax. Snorlax, dude. You're better than that. Snorlax, you're better than that. Snorlax, you were better than that. You didn't find your berry? Dude, come on, Snorlax. You were better than that. We're going to go into the Rabobi now. I think I'm just going to Pollen Puff this Snorlax. Make sure it gets some health back because we're just going to keep running with this thing. We are just going to keep running with this Snorlax. So Pollen Puff is actually a very cool move. So if you use it on its opponents, it's going to do damage. But if you use it on a friendly ally Pokemon like Snorlax over here, it's going to get some HP back, which is beautiful. Which is beautiful, dude. I'm actually loving this team. I'm loving this team. I love seeing the uh, teams that you guys send in. Like like I said, make it easier for me by saying if it's a singles or doubles team and leaving the Pokemon in the uh, comments too. Because... I don't like searching through a bunch of rental teams. Keep typing in numbers and everything to see what the team is. And then some of them, like, I guess you'd be like, oh, I don't like this. Why did it just waste five minutes typing it in, looking at the code and all that? But I just go in the comments, look at it. If I like it, I'll give it a peek. Let's go. Rabombi popping out here for me. Let's go, baby. Rabombi is such a cool Pokemon. Um, How are we going to roll out here? Like I said, Palm Puff probably. Yeah, Palm Puff on that Snorlax. I don't want him taking out my, uh, my what's it called? We're going to go for another G-Max Replenish. I'm going to go after his Hatterene here. Definitely gonna go, or do I go after the Conqueror? Because I can see him uh, Dynamaxing that Conqueror. Yeah, let's take out this Conqueror. Let's take out this Conqueror. I can see him Dynamaxing it. Surprised he didn't Dynamax a Hatterene yet. That's why I say he's gonna Dynamax that Conqueror. But he, he didn't Dynamax a Hatterene yet, so I'm just like, okay, maybe he's not gonna go for the Dynamax Hatterene. Especially because it's Life Orb. I was like, wow, he didn't Dynamax that thing? Let's see what happens here. Here comes the Dynamax. Show me the Conqueror of the Doors. Show me the Conqueror Doors. Let's go, baby. Show it to me. Because I can see this one tap in that thing. Let's see. Let's go. Conqueror comes out with that Dynamax. Like I said, can we one tap that thing with a plus six attack? With a plus six attack? He's coming after my belly drum boy. He's coming after him. I think he's going to double up here. But the Palm Puff's going to probably make us eat it up a little bit. So us go. Palm Puff. Mwah. Beautiful. Give me some of that HP. How much does that give back? Ooh. -hoo -hoo. You love to see it. You love to see it. G-Max Replenish comes out here. Are we going to get the sweep? Well, not the sweep. Take him out. Does me damage us. Tell me you found a berry, buddy. You didn't find a berry. Come on. Come on, man. We still eat that up, dude. Snorlax is just gonna hold out. They're gonna double up. We're gonna be able to get another Palm Puff off here. Or do I even go for a Palm Puff? Do I even go for a Palm Puff here? That's the question. Their attack's gonna raise. Dazzling Gleam's gonna pop out here. Ooh, Rabombi saves on that Focus Ash. Critical hit on the Rabombi. What you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> Gets off that critical hit. Um. He might be rocking. No, he can't be rocking Mach Mach Punch. He is Flame Orb. Um, 
we just go for the palm pump before we go out or we can dazzling gleam and make sure that hatterene goes down because i was thinking of, of um going after that what's it called i'm thinking of going after the the conquador here taking him out and then just taking out that hatterene i think that is the play call and then praying we get a berry here can we get a berry because we do outspeed we outspeed all day we outspeed all day baby just show that off dazzling gleam pops off we're gonna hope to get a berry. There we go. Conqueror's down. See you later, punk. And now the Hatterene's gonna go down to my boy, my Snorlax right here. But can we get a berry? Can we get a berry like third time's a charm? You're gonna tell me we use this move three times and then get a berry? Because the berry would be huge here. Let's go. Bill, see you later. Look at all the berries drop. And you can't grab one of them, Snorlax. We get a crit. Love to see it. Yes, we found an eye pop a berry. Beautiful. G Max replenish, baby. Let's go. Give me that health. And the gluten he comes out. Ooh, wee. Uwi. And I know my Rabambi's gonna outspeed here, so we're just gonna go with two another Pollen Pump. But guys, we just ran with this team. This team, though, we just ran with it. You love to see it. You love to see it with this team. This team is dope. The Rattlon's gonna pop out here. He does not have a Dynamax. We're just gonna go into yet another Pollen Pump. And is a ground move super effective with this thing? It might be. It might be. Let's see. Uh, I would rather just go for a Pollen Puff over on the Snorlax. And I think it's super effective. Yep, high horsepower is super effective, so we will possibly take it out here with his plus six tag is he gonna scoot is he gonna hit the bounce boogie let's see nope he's not pile up off Mwah. here's a little bit of hp snorlax keep it going keep it going baby who would have thought who would have thought gen 8 snorlaxes would be running the league they would just be running who would have thought <laughs> this big blob that used to block roads is gonna be running stuff let's go high high horsepower pops out here Bill, see you later see you later let's get it guys that is how it's done that is how it's done. That is hilarious. Just murked on with a belly drum Snorlax. You love to see it, guys. You love to see it. Okay. I think I see what this guy's doing. He's rocking out with that Colossal Steam Engine weakness policy. He's probably going to hit himself with either that Evo Light Glaring and Ponyta or that Gastron with like a Surf or something to hit it and trigger the weakness policy and the Steam Engine at the same time. Do we go in with that same squad? Same squad could do some work. You see how he's very physical attacking here. He is very physical attacking. Mm, or do we want that Duraldon? I really do like Duraldon. I think we're going to go in instead of the Duraldon. Because his main focus is going to be that Colossal. We're going to go in with the Togekiss. But I really want that Duraldon. Duraldon's just awesome. I love that. I think we're going in with same squad. I think we're going to go same squad here. Show it off once again, dude. Rabambi out here, dude. Rabambi is sick and so slept on. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What happened? What happened? What happened? We got to take out these Pokemon. Hurry up. Withdraw. Withdraw. We have 10 seconds. Okay. I was like, what just happened when I click? Okay, Duraldon, on Rabambi. Beautiful. And hit that done button. And we can be ready to go. But Rabambi is so slept on. It's just like, oh, who would want to pick up this little bug? And he's like, yeah, I'll pile and puff and I'll just murk on everybody. <laughs> but Pokemon that I want to see in the new like update. What is it? The DLC. I want to see Clefki from X and Y. Like, oh yeah, dude, Clefki is another slept on Pokemon. I want to see Scissor. I want to see Scissor back. I think we're guaranteed Garchomp and Walring, which are cool Pokemon. That we they like kind of showed him in the trailer. But he's gonna go with the Rillaboom and that Colossal. He's gonna go with that Rillaboom and that Colossal. Um, do we set up a Reflect off the bat? I think Reflect could be huge, and then go into a Follow Me, because these are both physical attackers, right? I believe so. I believe so. So Reflect's gonna pop off here, and then we're going to Belly Drum. I can see him Dynamaxing heavy off the bat, and going after that by uh, Snorlax. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he will do. Imagine if you could belly drum an opponent's Pokemon. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. He's going to Dynamax right off the bat. He's coming for my Snorlax. He's coming for it. This could be tough. He takes out my Snorlax here. It's going to be tough. Going to belly drum. They cute all that move. They're just like, okay, what move can max somebody's attack? Let's have him smack his belly a couple times, and it will boost his attack to the top. And everyone's like, oh, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Knockoff's going to come here. Oh, we're going to eat a berry before. You can't even knock off our our item here. You can't even knock it off because we already ate it. Can't even do that. Reflex going to pop off here, which is beautiful. Mwah. Get that nice little screen up here. And then we go into a follow me after this and just probably one tap that colossal. Max Rock Falls is going to pop off here. You going after my Snorri Relax? Don't take me down past half. You love to see it. You love to see it. That Reflect is awesome. And the Sandstorm does come in here, which is fine by me. I'm pretty sure ground is super effective to him, and we can just probably one-tap him after we get this belly drum off and go into a follow me. Like I said, then we get that Rabambi going again. Then we get that Rabambi once again. My berry, I papa, 
into that glue sneak. Gives us more HP from our berries, which is beautiful. Mwah. You love to see it. You love to see it. And then we're just going to go into a nice, beautiful follow me. And then we go into a pile and puff later. And our uh, G Max replenish. We we're sitting pretty. We we're sitting pretty. Let's go into the follow me with that reflect, which is awesome. So hopefully we can eat up at least one attack. And then go into the uh, Max Quake over on that Colossal. And I think we're just going to smoke him. I think it's night night for this guy. See you later, punk. See you later, buddy. <laughs> this team, man. This team. I love it. I love it. I also love uh, just looking at the, the teams that you guys send in. Like, kind of gives me something to do when I'm kind of sitting here after editing and having things like load out and all that. I'm like, let me look at teams that I can use for tomorrow. Let me get it going and all that. But look how much HP this dude has. 532. I didn't realize it the first time around. With the first time. Like, 532? That's a heaping amount. Jesus. Then you go into the follow me. Knockoff comes off here. Mwah. Going to slap us again. We eat that up. Beautiful. Indeed, he's going to go down here. And then we'll go into our Rabambi. Our beautiful Rabambi. Max Rockfall comes across. Mwah. Takes out my DD. I don't care. My DD did its job. Set up the reflect and took a hit. I'm probably going to take out his Dynamax Pokemon here, which is beautiful. You'd love to see it. You'd love to see it. Max Quake comes out here. Yeah. Yeet. Torterra Snorlax over here. Bill, see you, Colossal. See you later, buddy. I would love to actually use a Colossal team, too, with a Sneasel. Like, people always wonder why you use a Sneasel with it. It's because a Sneasel cannot get faked out. So instead of upgrading to a Weavile, you keep it there so you can guarantee yourself getting off that uh, that Surf over on that Colossal, triggering the Steam Engine, and that weakness policy that you run with it. Which is beautiful, which is beautiful. Okay, now we can go into a G-Max for a Punish here, and into a Rabombi. Or Rabombi. Do I Palm Puff here? I maybe just should have went into the Duralnon. I might actually, I'm going to Speed Swap here. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I am going to Speed Swap. This Gastron's going to pop off here. We're going to take out that uh, Rilla Boom. The Boom of the Rillas. Speed Swap's going to come out here from my Rabambi. So our Snorlax will be probably the fastest out on the field. And now we go into a G-Max Replenish. Did we take out the Gastron here? Or did we take out the Rilla Boom? I said we take out the Gastron. Because I'm not really too worried about the Rilla Boom. I'm not. I really am not. But that Gastron, I feel like that Gastron might have like, uh, could be rolling Toxic on it or something. Let's take it out. Let's say bye-bye Gastron. Really Boon, I am not worried about it. And, and it's a special attacker. Let's go. Speed Swap comes out here. Our Snorlax is now. Attack is feasting. Fully maxed out. And our speed is through the roof. We will be the fastest on the field. Replenish comes out here. Did we get a berry? Did you find an Ipapa? Did Snorlax find his snack? No, he did not find a snack. Double hit comes out here. Poo-poo damage. I can see this guy just leaving. <laughs> this team, dude. <laughs> this team. <laughs> oh, my lord. You love to see, guys. You love to see it. Like, this is just so easy. Like, I'm not even lying. If you know you can set up that belly drop, just do it. It's night-night. <laughs> it is just night-night after that. Okay, Draco Fish comes out. I'm going after him. Like I said, I'm not even worried about the, uh, the what's it called. I'm just going to Dazzling Gleam. We have so much health, I'm not even worried about it. the... Real boom or the Draco fish. We're just gonna take out the Draco fish. We should outspeed the Draco fish. I'm curious to see if we are going to outspeed the Draco fish. We're just gonna go into another replenish. We're just gonna replenish. Come on, Solax. You're hungry, man. I know you can use a snack. Look at that. That speed swap gives us first turn. And boom. See you later, <laughs> Draco fish. <laughs> Yo, are you serious? This team. Did you find a snack? Solax, no snack? Jump beating comes out. We eat that up. Tasty. Tasty. That is actually gonna be Solax's snack. That drum beating. He eats that up like no problem. That's gonna pops out here. Yeah, he does a little bit of damage. And that's gonna be the game. I can see this guy leaving after this. Beautiful. It's beautiful. You love to see it. You love to see it, man. <laughs> oh my lord, this team. This team. It's like once you set up, it's just like, okay, I'll click like two buttons. You know what to do. Just keep the Snorlax alive and he will swamp out the competition here. Just go for a palm puff on him. We're gonna actually use palm puff. And we're just going to go into a, a facade here. We're just going to go into a facade. Facade will do double damage if we were burned or poisoned, but we are not. It's fine. This might still be able to kill. Yep. See you later, DK. <laughs> I just realized he named him after Donkey Kong, which is a pretty cool name. I liked it. I liked it a lot. Let's hop into another battle here. Show off this team once again. This guy is using a Pikachu. This guy is using a Pikachu. Probably rolling a light ball. Someone did send me a Pikachu team, which I actually might use. It looked very, very cool with the light ball. So I'm hyped to actually check that out and maybe use it on the channel. But this guy's rocking Cockledor with the Pikachu, with the Gyarados, Excadrill, Togekiss, and that Chandelure. And that Chandelure. Do we roll out with the Wombo combo again? Or do we throw him a curveball? 
Where do we throw my curveball? I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. I definitely want to bring in that Rabambi. Rabambi's going to come in the back end here. We go with that same squad. Dude. That squad just rolls out here. Pretty strong. We have that T-Bolt too, which doesn't work. Hmm. Doesn't have any dragons, so Kiss won't really do any work here. No Kiss will do nothing here. I think my call is that Duraludon or that Arcanine. Do we bring Arcanine? Do we go Arcanine, Duraludon, Snorlax, Rabambi? We could do that, but I could see him maybe leading that Conkledor or something. That's tough. That's tough. I don't want to, like, it's it's just too easy going in with that Indeedee. I kind of want to try something different. We could throw him a huge curveball. Let's actually withdraw this. Oh, my God. I see the time. We're going here. Arcanine, Rabambi, Duraldon. Rabambi, Duraldon. We're going to throw him a curveball here. He thinks we're going into that Snorlax Indeedee. We are not. I already showed it off. So, like, what's the point of doing another battle and just sweeping again? Let's try something different here. Show this off. Let's go for it. Let's go for this one. Let's go for this one. Because it's just too easy. It is just, like, way too easy. Like, you go in with that Indeedee. Indeedee's like the cup of the ice cream. It's like an ice cream cone. So, you go Indeedee. You go Indeedee. It's the cup. Snorlax is the Sunday. You need the cup to support the Sunday. Then the toppings is the Rabomb to keep it going. Keep the flavor in there. Keep it tasty and beautiful combo. That's the combo. It's the Sunday combo. I'm going to call it. Let's go. And Timmy's going to pop out here. Who'd he go? I can't even see Pikachu behind the Arcanine. I was like, I tried looking over like this. I was like, bro, but like, it's a screen. <laughs> what are we going to roll out into? He's probably going to go for a Lightning here. I could swap out. I could swap into my Duraludon and eat that up. No prob. I think that is exactly what we're going to do. That is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to swap out into our Duraludon. And then we're going to roll into a nice little uh, Will-O-Wisp over on that Pikachu. Right over on that Pikachu, considering I can see him potentially doubling up on my, what's it called, on my Kiss right here, trying to take him out. But we have this Assault Fest. We're going to rock in here and do some work. We're seeing that Pikachu out the way. Is he going to Dynamax the peak? Are we going to see Big Pikachu? Are we going to see the boy? Are we going to see the boy? <laughs> is it? It is, yo, it is. <laughs> yo, I seen pictures of it, but I never seen it like in battle. It looks like the original Pikachu, the fat chubby one. <laughs> he gained all of his weight back, which is hilarious. Burn's gonna come out here on the Pikachu. That is hilarious. Look at this thing. Oh my God, G Max Volt Crash will eat that up, no problem. Look at that, not very effective, but geez, that still did a ton of damage. That stand paralyzed us, and it paralyzes us both. That's what that's. That is nuts. That is nuts. Shadow Ball's gonna come out here. Onto my Arcanine. That is just nuts. That is just crazy. Like, what is that? <laughs> We're going to go for a Draco Meteor right on the what's it called. Or do we go for it now? Draco Meteor uh, stab is better. We go straight after his Pikachu. We can't go after a Chan Lord. I'm going to go for a uh, Blair Blitz over here. With our Life Orb. We're going to try to do some work on this Pikachu. Do we outspeed that Pikachu? Probably not. Probably not. Let's see. G Max Volt Crash going to take out my uh, Doral out here. Wow. Oh, we survive on three. You'd love to see it. You'd love to see it, baby. Shadow Ball's gonna come out here. Can we eat this up? Eat it up, Arcanine. Buddy, eat it up. It's okay. It's okay. We'll get a nice little Draco Meter before we go off. That's crazy. Draco Meter pops off here. You'd love to see it. You'd love to see it. Brings us right back in this game. Takes out his Dynamax Pikachu. But our Duraldon is gone. But now we can actually go in with the Kiss. Which is beautiful. The kiss will actually show off here with the Guav Berry. We can Dynamax him, and we have the Rabombi in the back. Which is not bad at all. Not bad at all. We can Dynamax the kiss right here, right now, and keep rolling here. But, dude, that Pikachu is crazy, man. Big, fat, chungus Pikachu. <laughs> oh, wow. He got the drill. He's got the drill. Mold Breaker drill. Mold Breaker extra drill. And he's floating in the air with the balloon. That's fine by me. Body Press is going to come out here over on this thing. Then we're just going to go. Do we go for a max flare here? Set up the drought? No, drought will work very well with him. I might just boost her speed and go after you, Shannon. I think that's the play call. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. He's going to outspeed. Probably take out my Duraludon. Maybe with a Rock Slide. He's probably going to go Shadow Ball on my Togekiss for stab. Rock Slide on both, which is stab. And take out my Duraludon and my Kiss. Or do some damage to my Kiss at the same time. We're going to boost his speed and boost our health through the roof to 380. You love to see it. You love to see it. Okay. So, am I right? Iron Head's going to pop out. Oh, wow. He's going to keep my... Or... What's he going to do here? If we take out the Chandelure, that'd be huge. If we can take out the Chandelure. 
Take it out. Ooh. Ooh. Throw out, I'll go first. Throw out, I'll go first. You, you just got speed boost. Come on, throw out, I'll go first, buddy. Nope. Shadow Ball's gonna come out here. Take out my throw out. We still have our boy here. We still have our boy, Rabombi. Which we are going to pollen puff the what's it called? We are going to pollen puff on the toe kiss here. Keep it alive. We still have that guav berry, which could be huge, but I can see him doubling up here. We're gonna do we boost our speed? Well, I think our speed's just fine. I really do think we're just fine with the speed. Pollen puff's gonna come out here. Keep our toe kiss alive a little bit longer in Dynamax. And we can set the terrain. We can switch that terrain over and take out this chandelier here. Is this gonna take out chandelier? Rather boost the speed or maybe set the drought here. Set the drought. Nope. Let's just boost the speed again. Let's boost the speed. Because I don't really know who's rocking in the back. Let's see what happens. We do outspeed here. Which is awesome. Hey. Yeah, boy. See you later, Shandler. He's probably going for another Iron Head on me. Trigger our Agua Berry. And then the Palm Puff brings us right back where we want to. <laughs> Let's see. The Palm Puff should come out first with a plus one speed Rabambi. Which is awesome. Which is dope. Let's get it. Palm Puff. Mwah. Spicy. That's spicy, baby. Look at that. Mwah. Look at all that health, though. Look at all that health. Iron Head pops back out on our Toad Kiss. We eat that up. And I think our Guava Berry pops here. Or do we have to wait a little bit? I think, yeah, it's lower. It's a lower one. We can go for another Power Puff here. And we can set the Drought, which would be nice. We can set, set the Drought. Oh, no, we're not setting the Drought. We're going to one-tap that Conqueror. We're going to one-tap that Conqueror. Go back into another Power Puff here. Which is beautiful. Which is beautiful. Power Puff back out here. And we are going to go for a Max Airstream. Or do we the Super Effect to the Conqueror? And it's Stab. And it's Stab. We're going to go for it. We're going to change the terrain up just a little bit. Just a little bit. Max Starfall comes out. Mwah. Give me that misty terrain, though. See you later, Conqueror. Built, dude, this team, even without the Storm Axe, is looking pretty. It's looking pretty. We have Focus Ash on the Rabambi, and we will outspeed. So this game's like basically GG in a can. It's over. It's over. So if you want to hit my Rabambi, that's fine. If you want to hit my Toad Kiss with Iron Head, that's fine, too. Look at that, dude. Just taking over ranked with this team, man. HP gets restored. Another Iron Head pops out here. Just going to slowly take this victory here. Slowly take it, and now our Aguave Berry pops out. Our fancy Aguave Berry. Let's go. It should be the game. Do we go for another Palm Puff? I, I don't think we go into another Palm Puff. I know we're going to outspeed. I said we just go Flamethrower into something else, because if he is Focus Hatch, we can take him out. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Energy Ball into Flamethrower. Beautiful. You love to see it. Is this guy scooting? Is this guy scooting? You love to see it. Let's go, baby. Let's get it, dude. This team. It's too much fun. It's a lot of fun. Yo, what's he doing? Show me your scoot. He's probably like, yeet. I'm out of here. Yo, <laughs> Alright, what's he gonna do? Just come on, man. Why are you stalling, man? Why are you stalling? Hit the A button, man. Just hit it. Bam, 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 bam. But the thing that's cool about the expansion packs is I kind of like how they're putting out 100 and 100 so I can focus on the first 100 Pokemon that come out in the first expansion pack. Do some videos on that, and then when the next one comes out, it's like, it's like brand new Pokemon. It's like, yeah, instead of releasing them all at once, and kind of separate it, figure things out. Protect's gonna come out here. You did nothing for yourself. I should have just piled and puffed just to rub it in his face. You trying to stall out? You think I'm gonna? That's gonna make me quit? You think that's gonna make me quit? <laughs> we'll just do it again. We will just attack once again. Pokemon, get him! <laughs> We're like, charge! <laughs> man, the Pokemon's too fun, man. I'm having a grand old time playing Pokemon. I'm glad everybody is enjoying the content for the Pokemon. Seriously, it goes a long way. Seriously, it goes a long way. But as you guys can tell, I'm feeling a lot better. My throat is a little still, like, stuffy. But we're chilling, we're chilling. I'm feeling a lot better and all that good stuff, which is awesome, which is awesome. I was kind of, like, not for a couple days. I was just like, I was like, all right, let's record and then just play it slow. <laughs> but now I'm like, dude, let's record and... Get back to that grind, man, because I actually enjoy this a lot. I really do. Why are you stalling? You make no sense. You make no sense. Let's see. Go for another protect. Yeah, it's failing, buddy. Poo poo. What were you trying to do? What were you trying to do? Energy ball. Mwah. Spicy. Air balloon popping it. Get out of my face. Flamethrower ending you. Let's go. GG in the can, baby. In the can. Let's get it, guys. That is how you do it. 3 0 with this team. 3 0 with this team. Actually, I went 4-0 with this team, but I didn't like the one victory I had. It was kind of just like too easy. I just ran it. Well, let's go.
This team, guys, come on. Come on. This team was phenomenal. Definitely an amazing team to actually show off in a video. I love this so much. That select, you can absolutely run with the setup of Snorlax and DD and Rabambi in the back. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. I also showed off that Togekiss and that Arcanine and that the Rattle down a little bit. So we didn't just do the same thing all three battles. But, dude, this team is awesome. If you guys like to use it for yourself, run the code is at the bottom of the screen. Definitely use it up. If you use it, let me know how you deal with it. If you have any questions about it, send them in the comment section down below. I love chatting with you guys. I love hearing your guys feedback and all that good stuff also guys if you like would like for me to use your team send me your guys method code in the comment section down below like i said let me know if it's a singles or doubles team and leave a list of the pokemon on the team so it makes things easier for me but guys that is going to be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live also guys let me know for question of the day what do you guys think of the pokemon mystery dungeon series thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you all in the next one peace out everyone